So today was the day, guys. Yeah, today was the day, man, for the Minnesota Vikings and the rest of the NFL to go ahead and start wheeling and dealing. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real, man. It's exciting. Today's an exciting day, man. Exciting day to be a Vikings fan. Why? Because we went out and got us a new tight end, everybody. Yeah. His name is Josh Oliver. Let's see. Let's see a little bit about Josh Oliver, man. Josh Joshua Oliver is an American football tight end from the Baltimore Ravens of the National Football League. He played college football at San Jose State. Guess what? Josh Oliver also is 25 years old. Guess how tall he is? He's six foot five. He's a big one. Now, this is the thing, man. This is the hype Josh Oliver gets, man. This is this is what we got. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Vikings did today. You know what I mean? So we got, we got to talk about it, right? So Josh Oliver is known to be one of the best blockers in the NFL, according to PFF. You know what I mean? Or not, he wasn't even the first best blocker. He was the second best blocker. I mean, I feel like you got to actually have a little more skill to be the second best rather than the first best, to keep it real. When it comes to just blocking as a tight end, like you got to be lit. Now, listen, I'm saying this not to try to disrespect this man, but the thing is this, man, <laughs> like... When, when, when you got everybody getting litty, man, the Bears are out here making moves, signing Edmonds. I mean, they out here just doing the most, you feel me, trying to win. And then they say, well, you know, you got all these Vikings fans that are, well, we can't afford this because the caps, this caps, this caps, that. And then we bring in a guy for three years, $21 million for a tight end to block, to block, because that's what he's known for. And I'm going to break it down. I'm going to let you know that's what he's known for. Because guess what? He played 17 games last season. He had 14 receptions for 149 yards and two touchdowns. That's what he had. That was his reception as a tight end. So he must have did a lot of blocking, which I can understand when you got a guy like Lamar Jackson. Right now, the silver lining of this situation is this. Is, does that mean Lamar Jackson is coming to Minnesota? Did we just have to bring his homeboy over here first, man, just to make sure, show him that it's real? Like, hey, Lamar, you see what we're doing, man? We're bringing your boy over here, man. Your, your top blocker, man. We're bringing him with us. Like, come on, show us some love. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing that'll make this whole situation better because I got to say this. We got Johnny Munt, all right? We got TJ Hawkinson. I like Johnny Munt. We got Ben Elfson. That's obviously, supposedly, was supposed to be a good blocker. I mean, he seemed like a good blocker prior to last year. The, um, the, the year last season, he seemed like he did pretty decent when he came in. We didn't use him much, but hey, you know, is this guy just that much more of an elite blocker that we just absolutely had to sign him to a three-year deal? I mean, I, to me, I'm just saying this move I don't get. And like I said, he might turn out to be the next coming of Tony Gonzalez that can block. Hey, it is what it is. But I just feel like this team, the Minnesota Vikings, we have a lot more needs than a tight end, especially the first day of free agency. There's so much available, man. Cornerback, we let Cameron Sutton go to the Lions. Like on a weak deal that we could have signed him, bro, you're paying the tight end more than they're paying Cameron Sutton. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's just not making any sense. Patrick Peterson went to the Steelers, which I didn't want Patrick Peterson back anyways. I think it was time to move on. But still, it's just the facts, man, of it's free agent frenzy, man. It's time to start making move. Be aggressive. Byron Murphy, me, man. That's what I want. Like, if you're going to do a move like this, you got to at least make the next one big. Let's go, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Joshua Oliver coming from the Baltimore Ravens. Do you think he's going to be getting a lot of blocks, man, pancaking people? Let me know, man. I mean, to be excited about this, I don't care what type of Vikings fan you are. There's no way you can say that this move right here made you fall out your seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I ain't even trying to hear that. But, hey, shout out, Joshua. Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings, man. Hope you turn into who you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, KC and KOC. Obviously, KOC being the, the head coach and the offensive coordinator, play caller. So I, I, I'm, I'm sure he has something for you. You know, I'm sure he looked at you and said, hey, that's the guy I need, and we got to trust that. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Oliver, man. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toes with you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses. We winning. Undefeated. The percentage. 